Me and Mark Rutsu. Me and f***ing Mark Rutsu. That's f***ing right. I skipped 113. I'm a f***ing legend. My friends, it just keeps happening. Mark Rutsu is a name many gaming and speedrunning viewers alike will be familiar with, and he's back at it again. This time with a claim of Silo Agent Difficulty 59 Seconds, a would-be truly remarkable untied world record speedrun. However, Mark was unable to stream the run as he was banned from Twitch at the time, and he failed to record the speedrun, thus resulting in the record being removed from the world rankings and throwing into question whether he actually got the record or whether the whole situation is just one elaborate troll. This saga is just ridiculous and can't be fully understood without going back in time many years to talk about Mark's journey through speedrunning Goldeneye as well as recording videos. So let's get into it. Before I start, I really want to make sure it's known this video is just for fun, it's a funny situation, it's not meant to disparage or target Mark or anyone else. Mark and I have known each other for 10 years now, so you know, let's be nice and cordial. I hope you can listen to this story, have a laugh, and maybe learn a valuable lesson throughout. Oh, and this video will feature speedrun videos that have flashing or rolling screens, unintentional strobe effects, if you will, so if you're light sensitive at all, view with caution. So let's go back briefly to the prehistory of speedrunning. Before live streaming was much of a thing, and before modern video capture technology was widespread and accessible to most runners, videos of speedruns were pretty bad back then. Here are what my speedrun videos looked like in 2006, filmed with an old Fujifilm digital camera off a cathode ray television. Other players would record their play on a VHS tape, then use it to make a master tape with a second VCR, which they'd mail off to get captured by one of few guys who had a working capture card at the time. But sometimes you might overtape one of your best records by accident. Or it could be several months before the tape is mailed out, and the quality would deteriorate by the time it was captured. The point is, capturing videos of speedruns was a challenge back in the day. So when Mark Rutsu appeared on the scene in 2009, here's what his first video looked like. An Aztec agent 1 minute 30 seconds untied world record. Not bad at all. Perfectly acceptable. This is still acceptable by today's standards 10 years later. So how did Mark's video quality go from this to this to not recorded at all? Well, one factor is certainly when Mark began playing on an NTSC console sometime in 2010. Surely you all know by now, but Europe's old televisions run in PAL at 50Hz, whereas North America's old televisions run in NTSC at 60Hz. Well, there are some slight variances between these differences when it comes to various speed games. In Super Mario 64, or Ocarina of Time, the PAL version literally runs at about 83% of the speed of NTSC versions, so it really hampers your speedruns. But in Goldeneye, the differences aren't substantial enough to matter if you're a brand new player. They are important though when squeezing out frames for amazing untied world records, and unfortunately, capturing NTSC in Europe or PAL in North America can be a huge challenge, even more so 10 years ago. VHS tapes roll because they have the wrong frame rate, color gets lost, VHS at that point was a fairly old technology so the tapes themselves might have been degraded, all sorts of crazy stuff happens. So it's not a huge surprise that Mark's quality deteriorated when he first started speedrunning on NTSC. His damn Secret Agent 116 and damn Double O Agent 155 are legendary for not only being amazing world records, but also their incredibly poor video quality. These wouldn't pass a proof call today. They're just not acceptable proof, there are too many missing frames, and the integrity of the video just isn't there. But in 2011, these were more than acceptable. The videos do clearly show what appears to be evidence of him beating Dan in the alleged amount of time. But did you know? There was a record in similar quality that was even worse. So much worse that it was backrolled even way back then. 
his Caverns Agent 101, an amazing untied world record which would only be matched by one other player over the next three years. Now, incredibly, all traces of the video have completely vanished from the internet. We've searched far and wide to dig it up and couldn't find it. But we do have this reenactment which looks fairly similar. Backrolling records in 2011 was simply unheard of. Something never done. So the quality must have been substantially worse than even his damn records. Suffice to say, over the years, whenever Mark posted that he had achieved a new world record, you never knew what you were going to get in terms of video quality. Sometimes it was a perfect, acceptable capture. Sometimes, far from it. So when Mark posts a record, the community collectively holds its breath as if awaiting some kind of video lottery. So let's skip ahead to October 2017. A whole bunch of people were playing Silo. Clemens was going for Silo Agent 1 Minute, I was going for Silo Double O Agent 121, and Mark was playing Secret Agent where he would eventually take down the record of 108 with a new untied 107. Here's that video by the way, full color picture, acceptable bitrate, perfect, nothing to complain about here. Immediately after this, Mark would turn his attention to Agent, attempting to get 59 seconds there, in hopes he could then proceed untied double O Agent and complete a rare untied sweep of the stage. And that's where things started going off the rails. A literal year later, he had not yet achieved Silo 59, nor really any other GoldenEye times. He had spent a year solid going for Silo Agent 59, only to come up short, never getting it. There are tons of clips of 59 pace runs that went awry on his Twitch channel, as often happens when going for an insane record, but it was just not meant to be. In a strange twist of fate, the only GoldenEye record he would achieve over this time was Caverns Agent 101, a reproving of the 101 he had set years ago in acceptable video quality. So he gained his time back on the rankings, but it wasn't really a new record for him. Are you f***ing kidding me dude, f***ing back boost? I got the f***ing wall. Oh! <laughs> What's up then, f***ing back boost? F***ing my boots so Oh, and I guess he got this very pedestrian depot secret agent 40 in that time frame, but that's literally it. Only those two records dating back to November 2017, and nothing more. So, with all that said, let's go to May 2019. Mark Rutsu, still going for Silo Agent 59, gets banned on Twitch for 30 days. Why was he banned? We don't really know. Twitch never makes suspensions public, but Mark wouldn't infrequently speak words in his live streams that pretty much get you auto-banned, so it was really just a matter of time before he had to take a timeout in the penalty box. So Mark gets banned for 30 days, and it's not even really known if he will continue going for Silo 59, or continue playing Goldeneye at all. Mark himself has said in the past that he only really still plays Goldeneye so he can live stream it and earn a small amount of extra income. So without that, many wondered, would he even bother to continue playing the game? But then, about three weeks into his 30-day Twitch ban on June 16, 2019, a shocking revelation surfaces. Mark posts the end screen of what appears to be Silo Agent 59, but posts no video. A conversation between Mark and fellow speedrunner and speedrun content creator The Rixer also surfaces, where Mark tells Ricky that there ain't gonna be no vid. Ricky asks Mark in their native Danish language if he forgot to record, to which Mark replies, RIP. The community then lit up rife with speculation as to what really happened. Did Mark simply edit an end screen to read 59 to ignite drama and lulls? Did he actually get the 59 unrecorded and just wanted to let the world know? Did he get 59 but actually did record and would release the video at a later point in time and was simply amping up the hype around the record? 
Some more outlandish theories included a rogue gamma ray striking his recording hardware, corrupting the video. Or Mark being some kind of dark time lord who accidentally warped back in time, achieving the Silo 59 inside the Library of Alexandria just moments before it was burnt down by Julius Caesar. In any case, no vid, no did. While everyone knows Mark has the ability to get Silo Agent 59, and given Mark's previous mishaps with proof videos, it is very believable that Mark actually did get the Silo 59 unrecorded. It's not been since the very early 2000s that a claim of an untied world record would stand without a proof video of some sort. The current rule gives all players 48 hours to prove an untied record, so after those 48 hours had lapsed and all Mark could produce was a video of the end screen displaying the record, the time came down. I feel bad for this guy in the YouTube comments of Mark's end screen video. Congrats man, we followed you for so long. You're the ultimate example of not giving up and there's no GoldenEye player who deserves this more than you. Two days later, why did the Elite delete your 59 time? What's really crazy about the whole situation is the effect Mark's Twitch ban had on the whole process. If he didn't get banned from Twitch, he may have been streaming the gameplay session. So even having forgotten to record this speedrun, there would have been a Twitch highlight to pull from, which would have proven the record. On the other hand, butterfly effect and all, it's quite possible he never would have been playing at that exact moment in time, or his mindset would have been different. The point is, it's likely he wouldn't have gotten Silo 59 the way he did at that time had he not received a 30-day Twitch ban. In a stunning conclusion to this story, only three days after the whole Silo 59 unrecorded saga, Mark posted what would be his third ever and first untied world record in Perfect Dark. Escape Special Agent 311, beating the previous record of 313 by Lake Demon. And this is that video. Perfectly acceptable quality, in-game audio, high enough bitrate and frame rate. So yeah, Mark clearly at this point in time has the ability to record and prove acceptable gameplay footage. And all evidence does simply point to him forgetting to record the one run in a year and a half of playing where he actually got Silo Agent 59 seconds. Something that very well might be one of the best records in all of Goldeneye. But no video exists. A tough lesson for Mark, but perhaps a valuable reminder to all watching Always record your speedruns. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, you might also enjoy one of these videos about dubious or unrecorded records in speedrun history. Stay true, and I'll see you in the next stream or video.